everyone, I'm Miss Mellon with the Bomb School of Art here in Allentown. Today we're going to do a watercolor painting that I think you're going to like. This is a really simple project with not a lot of supplies. We're going to need heavyweight paper, some paint, paint brushes, and a black marker. During our project we're going to be doing a lot of color mixing. What that means is taking primary colors like blue, red, and yellow and mixing them together in different ways to get our secondary colors, which are orange, violet, and green. Let's take a look at the color wheel to see how all of these colors interact with one another. So here's our color wheel. Colors are laid out on this wheel to help us remember how we mix them. As you can see, yellow, blue, and red are in sort of a triangle shape, okay? Now, in between those colors are our secondary colors, orange, violet, and green. So if you take a look at the wheel, red and yellow are on either side of the orange. That's how we know what colors to mix to get orange. So red mixed with yellow will give us orange. The same thing is true around the rest of the wheel. So blue and yellow are both beside the green. So blue and yellow mixed together is going to give us a green. Blue and red give us a violet. It's pretty simple. That's why a lot of artists always have a color wheel on hand. They're simple to make and they're a good reference. So what we're going to be painting today is a watercolor forest. This forest is going to utilize both of our primary colors and our secondary colors. Or, if you'd like, you can make it a little bit more complicated. I'm going to show you step by step how to make one of these forests and how to mix your colors. Okay, let's get started on our watercolor painting. For this, we want to start with a medium-sized brush. The colors we will be using are our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Whenever you're watercolor painting, it's good to start with your lightest color first. So let's use yellow. We're going to start by putting one tree in the center of our page. Remember that your tree does not have to be perfect and is basically just a blob shape at this point. Let's move on to our next primary color. I'm going to choose red as my next option. Let me quick rinse my brush in between. We're going to put our red tree to the far left of our page. Looks great. Let's rinse our brush again and move on to our blue tree. This will go on the opposite side of our page. If you ever have trouble mixing your watercolors or spreading them around, you probably just need a little bit more water. This next part is going to be our tricky part. We're going to start our color mixing. So the first one we're going to do is our orange tree. Orange is made when we mix the primary colors yellow and red. So we're going to put our orange tree right here between the two. Just like before, we're starting with our lightest color. So grab a little bit of yellow and quickly draw the rough shape of your tree. Make sure your brush is nice and wet. Then we're going to tap into our red just a little bit and mix that into our yellow right on our page. If you grab too much of red, you can always add more yellow. And if you grab too much of the yellow, you can always add more red. Go back and forth until you've created a nice orange color. Awesome, looks great. Let's go ahead and rinse our brush and then we'll do our next color. Now we're going to make our green tree. Green is made when you mix the primary colors yellow and blue. So our green tree is going to go right here in the middle. Just like when we made orange, we're going to start with the lightest color first. So get your brush a little bit wet, grab a whole bunch of yellow, quickly lay down a rough shape for your tree, then grab a tiny bit of blue and mix right on your page once more. Okay, now we're only missing one more color, violet. Violet is made when we mix the primary colors red and blue. Let's go ahead and put violet all along the bottom of our page. This will be our ground. If you 
you want to get fancy, you can add little flicks like you're making grass. This is just straight little lines with your brush. Great. Now we're going to let this whole thing dry and we'll come back with our marker. All right, I think we're ready to go back in with our marker. So we're going to take our black marker and draw our stems or trunks on our trees. Consider varying what kinds of stems and trunks are on your trees. This will make them all look unique. Once all your stems are on your trees, you can even add to the grass. And there you go, a very simple watercolor forest using all of our color mixing skills that we learned today. And that's pretty much it. Making a watercolor forest this way is very simple, very fun, and a great way to test out your color mixing skills. If you like this video, be sure to check out my next video about silhouette skies. In that video, we will be talking about tertiary colors as well as using an analogous color scheme. As always, I hope everyone is staying home, staying safe, and staying creative. Can't wait to see you next time. Thank you.